Hello everyone, it is Thursday, July 4th. I'm Nathalie Pozo with your news to go. Happening today, four fallen military members are being honored at the Freedom for Miler in Tequesta. Each mile represents a different person. Runners are asked to say the service members' names as they run by so their families know they have not been forgotten. All of the money raised at the Freedom for Miler event goes back to Gold Star families. A 17-year-old on the Treasure Coast is under arrest after deputies say he brought a loaded gun to summer school. The St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office says staff at the Fort Pierce Central High School alerted deputies after smelling marijuana from one of the bathrooms. Deputies used surveillance video to identify the student who is from Lincoln Park Academy. We're told no threats were made and no other students were involved. Port St. Lucie police now working with Walmart to reduce the number of retail thefts in the city. This comes after police discovered a trend that from June of 2022 to May of this year, there was a combined 534% increase in retail thefts at three Walmart supercenters in Port St. Lucie. Those locations are right there on your screen. Police say most of these thefts consist of what is called skip scans. That's when someone would purposely skip scanning one of the items in those self checkout areas. Sandra. All right, weather wise, we have a heat advisory in effect today. Impact weather, that heat advisory up until 8 o'clock tonight, meaning that it'll feel like between 105 and 110 with the excessive humidity. Actual temperature highs only at about 90, but the heat is going to be significant because of all that humidity out there. Take it easy. Great for viewing the fireworks tonight.